sudden stars Andy Matichak as Laura, who escaped the cult as a child only for its sinister members to break into her home and attempt to steal her 8-year-old son David. Now the two are on the run, pursued by a detective, played by Emile Hirsch, determined to save them both. Written and directed by Ivan Kavanaugh, this hit VOD at the beginning of the month and it has a lot going on. It's another slow burning horror movie that dives heavily into psychological territory, playing into this trope of how much of this is in our lead character's head versus how much of it is real. For parts of the film, there is this back and forth as to whether or not the cult is actually coming to take David, as there are no signs of a break-in, and there are several instances when Laura makes note of something suspicious and attempts to tell someone, only for it to be suggested they're not seeing what she's truly seeing, or that she's not really being followed. And this is it real or is it fake trope is something that we've seen a number of times by now, so once you realize what the film's going for, there's a chance you may be able to call a few of the dramatic beats. That being said, I still found the film to be creepy enough, with Kavanaugh's direction to be mostly solid, and while some people may not like the slower pace, I will say there's at least a payoff when it comes to most of this build-up, because there are times this movie gets incredibly bloody, and when it does, it doesn't hold back. And this starts up once David gets sick and begins experiencing these weird convulsions, and it's discovered, or at least supposedly discovered by Laura, that he may be a vampire or some sort of demonic creature that actually eats people. He'll go from being your average, innocent-sounding little boy one minute, it, just suddenly having an insatiable appetite that requires Laura tricking strangers into making their way into her hotel room for David who's crawling through the room ready to attack. Some of it can get incredibly graphic and because of the film's pacing where shots will linger at times, it doesn't shy away during any of these moments. Though beyond these extremely bloody sequences, Kavanaugh does a solid job of building up suspense with some nice camera work, claustrophobic settings, and a solid score. And as far as the acting goes, it was a bit hit and miss for me. I didn't think anyone gave a flat out bad performance, but there was definitely some inconsistencies. I thought both Andy Matichek and Luke David Blum, who plays David, were fine during more grounded conversational moments, but whenever there was a scene that required them to scream, yell, or show any sort of extreme emotion, they tend to overdo it a bit, which I'm not going to fully blame them for, as I think that partially stems from the direction. Meanwhile, on the other end, Emil Hirsch gives a very consistent performance, but then again, he also doesn't have much to do, outside of being this voice of support for Laura, and predictably having a fling with her early on. Beyond a couple of key points like Laura's background with the cult, I don't think these were really the most complex or intriguing characters around, to be honest. It's otherwise just hitting the same few notes with them repeatedly, and you're invested more for the mystery of it all than anything, which involves a number of twists and turns including, of course, one at the end that will have you question other parts of the movie. I still think there are some solid and notable qualities about this, from its intriguing mystery, creepy imagery, and bloody violence, so it may be worth checking out at least once for die-hard horror fans, though I think the film's writing could have been touched up, as its use of the is it real or is it fake trope makes it lean heavily on twists and turns rather than truly strong characters that could have possibly made it great. Sun gets a 6 out of 10. So let me know, did you see Sun or are you planning to see it and what were your thoughts? Did you like this story? Do you have a favorite horror movie that you've seen lately? Let me know in the comments below so we can discuss. Also if you enjoyed this video please like it and share it and for more movie reviews and film discussion please make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Thanks for watching everyone and keep having fun with film.